welcome to another interesting tutorial we're going to be making a luxury bobo captain okay so these are the things you need and of course you need your fabric you need chalk scissors cup ruler those are the things we will be using for this tutorial and then i folded my fabric into four one two three four okay i folded this into four and because this is going to be cut like a kimono so that's together with the sleeves so the first thing i will do the first thing i did was to fold the fabric into four and then i use the iron to iron this edge so that i have a mark a mark at that midpoint is for a purpose you will see why we need why we needed to get that center mark so after that the first thing i'm going to do is to mark my neck so i have all all along i have 23 inches which is which is okay you have this is african print print the length is all is always 47 eyes so we can't have more than this 23 but if you have a fabric that is wider than this you can have as long hand as you wish so the first thing i will do is to mark three inches for this folded edge three inches you can as well measure your, your round neck and divide by five whatever you have you put it but three inches is okay three inches and then one and a half inch for the back neckline one and a half inch for the back neckline and then for the front for the front i'll just make it i'll just add nine inches to this so all along for the front neck depth that's ten and a half okay and then on that on that ten and a half the depth of the front i'll go in by one inch by one inch like so as one inch so i'll be connecting it to that point first of all let me connect the back neckline like so connecting the back neckline if you have not subscribed to this channel you can please do so and then click the notification bell to always see when we load upload pictures videos okay so that's for the neck depth and then for the for the front neck depth that's 10.5 and then i'll connect that slantly to the three inches mark on the width of the neck like so okay so after that i'll come to the head of the shoulder you can as well leave it like this without joining you can leave it as folded as it is you can leave it like this or oh, better still just come down so i just want to come down by one and a half inch and then i'll connect that to the three inches on the neck of it like so so after that the next thing that i will do is to come down for the opening for the sleeve opening for the sleeve opening i will just come down by 12 she's on it she's a plus size woman so 12 by the time i i use i have to join here i have to join here i will have 11 at the end of the day and then i will mark my shoulder to waist shoulder to hip and the full length i use the full length for the before cutting anyways so shoulder to waist a shoulder to waist which is the half length is 18 plus half inch that we use to join this shoulder together that's 18 and a half a shoulder to knee is 38 shoulder to knee is 38 so this is 38 and then the full length is there shoulder to hip also is 26 so shoulder to hip 26 so i want to get straight line on those parts like so this shoulder to waist shoulder to hip shoulder to hip and then shoulder to knee shoulder to knee okay so i don't need to mark anything at the hand because i use 
57 in cutting out the fabric that's our length 57 i had it one and a half half inch to join at the shoulder one inch to hem at the end of the sewing okay so after that i want to be putting a measurement our waist measurement is 40 we're going to be dividing that by four that's 10 and then i'll be adding three inches to that so that's 13 it's boo boo so it has to be very very free in fact i will be using 14 for the waist it has to be very free and then for her hip for her hip her hip is 48 48 divided by 2 that's 12 so 12 this is 12 and then i will be adding 5 inch to it and then 1 inch for same allowance so we have that and then all that i have here that's what i'm going to mark straight down is a booboo it has to be free so i'll be marking 18 all the way so down here i'll mark 18 it was one inch same allowance so that's 19 19 okay so i'll connect everything together from the hem from the hem to the hip So I want to be sure I don't have too much from the, this is the shoulder to knee is 38 and then our full length is 57, 57. So I want to trim off some irregularity there, so like that. With the help of my master pattern. Show me the part like this. So I move it down again to be able to cut. So the first part I'll cut is the neckline for the back. Neckline for the back. Like so, and then I will open up this to be able to trim off the shoulder slant, the shoulder slope. I should have it. Okay, so before cutting out, I'll be blending this place to meet. This is two in and I want is a free distance so I'll be blending to meet up a bit and then from the from the sleeve I'll blend it to connect everything. You don't have you don't want to have a funny shape at that side so and it's a very very free bubble so you can do make it as free as possible. So after that I'll cut the side. So this is what we have by the forefold. So what I'm going to do now is to remove the back. You now I use the neck, the back neck to cut it then. I want to correct or adjust the neck line for the front. So I'm trying to make it equal. Okay, so I'll just cut like so. So that's for the neck depth. That's what I'm the neck depth. So this is what we have. 
hold it like half for the neck of the the half of the neck of the front and then what we have for the neck of the back okay so this is what we want to do right side facing each other this is the back and then this is the front right side I will, uh, right side hole wrong side facing the wrong side of the back so this is what you want to do this part I'll go in by one and a half inch one and a half inch and then I'll connect it I'll notch it like so we need to stand for us to work with that part you will see as we progress so that's that's the knot so i'll be i'll be using that to blend to the neckline 